those of you who are scrapbooking on a budget, I have a project for you where we are going to make one layout and eight cards. So what I have for you today is a project using one piece of pattern paper, two sheets of cardstock, and not even a whole sheet, one and a half sheets, and you can make an entire layout and you can make eight greeting cards. Okay, so here are the ingredients we're using today. I'm using what's called a one sheet wonder, where we're going to take one sheet of pattern paper, one sheet of cardstock, we're gonna put them on some card bases, make ourselves a beautiful layout and eight cards to go with it. I'm using templates today, and if you would like to have these templates, you can download them at my website with the details that you see on the screen, and everybody can have these. And it's for free, because we're on a budget. Okay, first thing to do is we're gonna pop our little part aside and trim down our pattern paper. It's going to be trimmed down to A4 size, so I'm going to pop that in my trimmer. And look, I'm a bit of a cheat when it comes to this. I'm just going to put the A4 paper on top, line it up, whisk the paper away and know that it's the right size. This piece that I've just trimmed off is exactly the piece that I have used on this layout, so that's where that is going to go. And what we have left is our A4 piece of pattern paper. Again, I'm going to lay that on the top, line it up. Now you can do this with your trimmer and all the measurements are marked here on the template. Or if you prefer a craft knife and a mat and a ruler, you can do that as well. So my first piece is eight centimetres. And I'll line that up at eight. Now, I know that this is for card number one, so I'm actually going to line these up uh, across the table. Or you can pre-fold all of your cards and have them, just slot them in as you do them. I've done this a few times, so I kind of know which piece is which. A couple of four centimetre strips, and if you're going, oh, I'll never remember this, don't panic, it doesn't matter. It's all written down for you. And so you just keep moving on trimming down your paper according to the template and popping the blank pieces into the cards. When it comes to the base of your card, there's no need to go to huge expense. I popped down to Officeworks and bought a nice big ream of good 300 gram thereabouts cardstock. So I'm pretty much just going to cut each A4 sheet in half. So I'm using four A4 sheets. I'm going to cut it just shy of 15 centimetres and do that for each of them. And that gives me the perfect size for a card. You can score it if you've got a scoring blade in here or if you just fancy, just fold it in half. I'm just gonna use a bone folder to make that nice and crisp on the edge. And voila, how quick was that? That's your card base. So you can have eight little bases all lined up and each time you cut a piece, you just pop it inside the card. All right, so now I have my eight card bases with all their little bits and pieces inside. And it's, I've already stuck the double-sided tape on the back because frankly, that's not exciting to watch. So pretty much all we need to do now is whip these backs off and start putting them together. And to make it easy, I've got a little guide, a picture guide, so I know where the pieces go. So this is just absolutely no brain card making. You don't have to think about it. You can just merrily go along and put all your cards together. So the first thing I'm going to do is pop my pattern paper down here. Just eyeball it. I don't like measuring very much, but you can measure it if you want to. I've got a couple of small strips of cardstock. And I'm going to pop one across the top, and one across the bottom. What I have done is invested in a really versatile set of stamps. This is the beautiful wings from Darkroom Door. We've got lots of butterflies, ladybugs, and beautiful greetings, perfect for cards. So I'm gonna take a couple of these. Oh, let's go for a big butterfly, I think. And I'm gonna stamp it out onto my Express It cardstock. I'm using Memento Ink, the Tuxedo Black. This is a perfect ink to use with your Copic markers. Of course I'm colouring these in with Copic markers, it's super quick and I'm even going to colour outside the lines again because it's fun. Ink that up, stamp it down. I think I'll stamp four big butterflies, a couple of big ones, a few smaller ones. And then I might do some greetings as well.
So I'm going to give our big butterfly a blue treatment. Very, very quick and easy. I'm just colouring all over the wings with the B60. And going outside the lines because I'm not going to have this in a neat little square. I'm going to cut it out. And I'm going to flick in some of the B93. This is the kind of thing you could do in advance. You could colour in a whole bunch of your butterflies and your dragonflies and ladybugs, etc. And you can sit and do this while you're watching telly at night or while the kids are doing their homework. Okay, so just finishing off here, this little butterfly, blending those colours out. And then all over with the B60 again, taking those hard edges off. Copics are amazing things. And we're ready to cut that one out. All right, here we have all of my butterflies. They're all coloured either with the E50s or the B90s. I've cut them all out. I've also stamped greetings from this beautiful wing set just in some uh, dark brown and I've cut those all out, inked around the edges. So pretty much the last thing to do is just stick them onto the cards. Now, you can be more fussy if you want to. You can add ribbon and lace, dig into that big stash of stuff that you've got. I know you have, I've got one, I know you've got one. Dig into it, find your brads, find your buttons, find your lace, find all those bits and pieces you've been squirrelling away. Use them up, pop them on a card, give them a home. So I'm going to stick that butterfly on there, throw a quick little greeting down the bottom. So beautiful with these butterflies. Now, you might think, oh, a template, it's a bit boring, it's going to be the same all the time. It is not. You can turn this around by changing the orientation of your cards, change the way you stick the pieces on, change the papers that you use, do some clean and fresh like this, or ink and grunge around the edges. If you use a double-sided cardstock or a double-sided paper, you can flip some of them over. So for example, here we have same card, different look, different mat, and in this one, you can see that by flipping the papers over and using both sides of that beautiful pattern paper, you get a different look every time. If you've got lots of stamps, different embellishments, use it over and over and over. It's quick, it's cheap, it's easy. Perfect for those working on a budget. I hope you've enjoyed today's project. See you on our next show.